find some some New York strip. Looks kind of crappy. Mashed potatoes, braises up with the red wine, carrots, some onions, a little garlic, and uh, a little flour, but simple. A couple ingredients. Steak and potatoes, Lakeville style. Let's get on with it. Three cloves of garlic, maybe? Four. What we're gonna do when we graze it with the red wine is gonna make this roux a little soft and fall apart. But it's a good thing you wanna use something like this, some good marbling, some good fat in it. It's gonna break all this fattiness down in connective tissue. So that's what's gonna give you a lot of flavor. You wanna keep them all about the same size because you want them all to cook about the same time. You just want to cut it up in the chunks. It's not going to be perfect at all. So there you got it. That's basically all we're going to be working with right there. You can put peppers in it. You can put anything you want in it. But this is what this is what Quinn had in his fridge. Oh, snap. We'll look at it when you get here. We'll figure it out. That's all faithful right there. It's like my Gruber tool. That's good. It's real good. I go perfect. A little oil in there. The reason we put that oil in there want to make it the meat coat do a generous coating on there make sure it's hot you threw it in a cold pan it's gonna soak up all the oil like a sponge you get a nice brown outside so it seals in the juices the, also the flour after we add the the red wine in, it's it's gonna be a part of the thickener it's gonna thicken everything up and it's gonna give you that good stew and then the good gravy and we're gonna add this in, in two separate batches because if we threw all this in, it's gonna cool down the pan. So we want to split it in half, do one, take it out, do the other, add it in, add the rest of our ingredients, let it stew, deglaze the pan, and we'll get to that. Oh. Take the battery out of it. goes off almost every time I cook something. <laughs> now we gotta do this. Continue. So now we sweated this stuff out, cook the rawness off of it. Add your beef back in. Now we want to take our red wine. The reason you want to wait till it gets really hot, it's gonna lift up all of them juicy bits off the bottom of the pan. That's called the fawn. And that's what's gonna make our sauce in this red net beef pork on your own. And then you want to turn it down. And then you want to cover it. So now at this point, you want to bring it to a boil for about 20 minutes. This is weird. It's thickened up a lot, and that's that's all that flour and everything. And we just dumped wine in there. What are you a <laughs> 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 smash room. It's 
said 25 minutes, I lied just a little bit. Maybe 35, 40 minutes. Just because the longer you go, the better it's gonna be. Beef bourguignon, or as they say in Lakeville, beef stew. Hello, I am the pie.